Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Well, I wanted to give you guys just kind of a, my, actually with having a jailbreak for the past couple of days, I wanted to give you guys my first impressions and what I thought about this jailbreak and how amazing it is and why is it so amazing to have this jailbreak. So without further ado, I wanna give you guys just what I have on my device and the experiences that I've had with jailbreaking. So. First and foremost, the themes that are that I currently have on my app, I can give thanks to Winterboard. That has been, an, or actually Snowboard, I should say, that has been an amazing tweak to be able to install Kind of Stock. Now, I did download Kind of Stock. I'll give the, I'll actually leave the repo in the description down below, but it gives this same vibe to iOS, just but so much nicer. It looks way better. The applications pop more. They look like they're not so uniform they just everything is just a little bit more different and i do like the way that the apps are made so what i'll do is i'll leave the repo and the creator in the description down below please check them out and please give them support because this has just been an amazing theme i you know i do kind of like i don't like to go so crazy with my themes i definitely like simplistic themes themes that kind of resemble the original os but just kind of give it a little bit more of a flair and this has done that so much so i'm really glad for that Another tweak that I've been using on the other end too has been Springtimize. Now, if you've never downloaded Springtimize before, it is an amazing tweak that will allow you to change the way that your apps are laid out, the way that your control center is laid out, folders, icons, your lock screen, everything. This has just got this has everything that you can change or that you can tweak around with inside of this application and is just it's crazy how much custom ability that there is within this tweak. So Spring to My 5, I would really recommend anybody who is looking to change the way that their apps look to really definitely download this. As you can see, I definitely have my apps a little bit smaller. I, I do like them a little bit smaller. And then I have a little bit more room to add some more apps. So if I ever need to you know, add some more apps, I can do that as well too. I can change up the way that everything looks, the layout. It just looks so much fresh, so much cleaner. I love the way that it looks and how it comes out. Next tweak that I do have is an amazing tweak that I've been using, that I've used for a long time, and I think this really needs to be implemented in Apple's newest OS. Hopefully they get this in iOS 14, but Floaty Dock 13 has been the next tweak that I honestly, I can't live without. I have to have this tweak in my arsenal because this is just having the standard four icons in your in your bottom i just i can't i honestly i just can't do it i have to have more in my in my actual dock and then to be able to have the most or the last app that you've used on your dock is just been great so if you haven't already checked out floaty dock 13 definitely check this one out you can do some crazy different like tweaks with this you can do uh dock gestures which you can change up the way if you swipe what, uh, right, left, down, up, you can change all of that. You can change the way that your, the recent apps look or the recent apps uh, blacklist. You can make make the the most recent apps that you used uh, you know, on a blacklist so they won't show up on there. You can change the amount of uh, dock icons that you can have on there. You can actually make the dock transparent. So let's go and toggle that. I'm gonna show you how that works. Let's go ahead and hit respring. We'll hit respring one more time here. And then our dock should look a little bit different. Let's go ahead and swipe up. And then there we have it. Our dock <laughs> looks completely, uh, even more, even more so, more cleaner, a lot better without that that gray, just, uh, I, I just, I honestly, I, w I don't know what I would do without Floaty Dock 13. It's just an amazing tweak. If, make sure that you guys do check this one out. Repos will be in the description down below for this one. So the next tweak that I have on my list here that I always download or that I always have is something called Calm. So I did have Jellyfish for a while and I didn't, it, it was great with the minimalistic theme, but there was always seeming to be some sort of issue with the weather. It was never showing up and it never, never really showed the correct weather or it never actually gave me the best, for whatever reason, maybe I was doing something wrong with it, but at the time, but I was using now something called Calm and this is a great tweak to have. It shows my weather, it shows my time, it shows whether or not the phone is unlocked or not, it shows how many notifications that I have, what's up next as far as my calendar, if there's something that I do have on my calendar, it will automatically pull up what's the next thing on my on my to-do list too. 
And then I do also have another another tweak alongside of this called Quartz that gives the notification center just a little bit more of a of a better vibe or a better look to it. As you can see, the applications are actually shown through right here and they're in a circle shape here too. So they look so much better. They look just honestly, I really wish and I hope that Apple takes this into consideration for iOS 14. Again, just all these different, again, with the notifications, it automatically shows up. It shows the application right there. The look and the text looks just great. And then if I wanted to, I can actually pull down on the notifications bar and it clears all the notifications right there. So if I do get a notification, want to clear it out just pull down and it automatically clears it out super fast super easy you don't have to go through one at a time or every single there's been times where you might have notifications for you know for a couple of days and you just haven't cleared them then you got to go through each and every single x and clear them out when just one swipe does it it's just perfect that's just how i would like my notification center to be especially on ios 14. now of course you have to have Cylinder. If you haven't jailbroken, if you've jailbroken your phone and you haven't installed Cylinder, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but Cylinder is one of those great tweaks that will allow you to change the way that your apps look or when they switch or when they transition from page to page. And it's just an amazing tweak. You gotta make sure that you download this. If you haven't already, make sure that you guys get this on your phone. There's so many different ways that you guys can switch up the way that your apps change or how they transition from page to page. So let's even just do a random random one. Let's just go here. Curl, uh, cube overlap. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Even, even that looks clean. Just the animations itself looks super clean, super crisp. Honestly, if you, if you're a newbie to jailbreaking and you have never jailbroken before, get cylinder. And it's just one of those first tweaks that every, everybody has downloaded in their past that just honestly, it, it works so well. Make sure you guys download it soon. So the next tweak that I wanted to show you guys was an amazing tweak called Maple 2. Maple 2 is a really cool tweak that will bring that animation that you would get from Air Power that we were supposed to have earlier a, a long time ago, and it brings it over to your iDevices. So whenever you charge your phone, let me go ahead and actually plug my phone in here. I have my I have my cord right here. Let me go and plug this guy in for a second, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Once we plug it in, it gives you that animation that you would get from Air Power, and it just shows the, the percentage. It shows that you're charging right on your device. It's a really cool tweak. I think it's something that automatically should be here for iOS 13 or even on iOS 14. Shouldn't be that hard to implement onto the latest OS. So really, Apple, if you guys are checking this out or checking out Maple at all, make sure that you please implement this into your OS because this is a really cool feature. Something just simple, Really easy, that's just, honestly, Maple 2 is just, it's one of those tweaks that just adds a little bit more flair, and then when people see that your phone is jailbroken, or people won't know, how the heck does your phone do that? That's, you can actually bring up jailbreaking to them and show them, yeah, my phone's jailbroken. It's a lot better than yours. So Maple 2, here's a section of it. You can go ahead and enable it. You can, def you can actually set the different types of banners or the size of the banners, the animations. You can enable the animations, uh, and it's just, honestly, it's a really cool tweak to have on your device. So make sure you guys download Maple 2. Lastly, the different, the last tweak that I definitely want to talk to you guys about is a better control center and something that we have been longing to have for a long time. And so instead of pulling down from the control center down here, I definitely am the types that would love to pull from the type of the, uh, at least from the bottom right or from the bottom left. But I do have something called Prism that I actually want to show you guys real quick. And Prism will give you this really sleek layout for a control center and then you can switch and toggle between different types of apps or any sort of like your flashlight your screen recorder your screen lock the do not disturb mode if you want to airplay all that is done right here within the control center it looks just so much clean so much cleaner so much just easier to read and just be able to navigate through and especially it does have the different types of settings if you wanted to shut down your device respring if you wanted to go into safe mode or if you wanted to just even lo simply lock your phone or even just show you the battery percentage and your phone and then even the weather will show up right there too so prism download it today it's a better notification or better control center that you than you already have already so make sure you guys get that links will be in the description down below for that 
Well guys, I hope you guys did like this video. I, these are just a couple of tweaks and a couple of features that I do have on my phone. I definitely wanted to talk about real quick just how smooth of a jailbreak process this was to be able to get from a jailbroken state on an iOS 13.5 that is so stable has just been amazing. But the Uncovered Jailbreak has just been so smooth. And honestly, I would recommend it to anybody who is looking into jailbreaking, especially at this time. Now that you're able to even switch from going to a jailbroken state all the way into restoring root FS, you can do so with ease, hit done, and you can restore your device as you would to its normal self. And honestly, that has been the one of the coolest features of this jailbreak because there are some applications that I love using that unfortunately they don't run with a jailbroken with it on a jailbroken device. So when you're ready to restore to root FS, you can act, it's crazy how you can just restore and then get your device back up and going again. And then if you have a, you know, uh, a, you know, a computer or PC that can run the alt store and be able to sideload uncover back on there for you, you can do so with ease and just be able to re jailbreak if you would. It's honestly probably one of the best things to have. Or if you have uh, re uh, reprovision, you can honestly do that as well too. The app will be re signed back on your device and you can reinstall uncover as you would. So honestly, it has, it has been the best, the best situation. I remember the other day I was, I was on a hike with some friends and we were trying to check out the news, trying to see what was going on with everybody and just with all the rights and everything that's been happening. And I couldn't watch any of the news because my phone, unfortunately through Spectrum, doesn't support a jailbroken device. So restored root FS, threw on the news just for a moment to watch what was happening. And then I'm like thinking, oh man, how am I gonna re-jailbreak my device? Well, the alt store was right there app was already signed so all i needed to do is just relaunch the application again and then re-jailbreak re -jailbreak, and then all my sources were already preloaded on Cydia. i just needed to install Cilio because i'm currently using Cilio at this moment and i was back up and running again all my tweaks everything that i've bought was automatically reinstalled onto my device and i can i didn't have to re-sign in have to re-go through all through all the purchase processing that takes place whenever you're buying a pay tweak everything was there for me to just get and download right then and there so honestly it has just been an amazing an amazing jailbreak super smooth and i did it with just with with ease and if a dummy like me can get it anybody what he can get it honestly just one of the most amazing jailbreaks out there and i definitely do have to give a quick shout out to repo finder if you haven't already installed this application from Cydia or from Cilio onto your device, make sure that you guys do so. Repo Finder is an amazing application that will show you every single repo that's out there. All you need to do is just download or just tap on the repo. So let's put in, let's put in this repo and it automatically brings up Cilio. We can add the source right there and it'll add for you right then and there. Just need to pull down, respring, or not respring, but to refresh and there you have it. You can actually go right into the repo and check out the actual different tweaks that that repo has in its repository. So definitely check that one out. I'll be leaving that in the description down below, but I hope you guys did like this video. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos and all things Apple Plus, and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace.